what's up guys it's been quite a while for both making videos and since I've installed the coilovers on the Mustang but I want to make a little video uh, maybe adding a little bit of update to what's been going on and also I also need to fix or kind of fix my uh, suspension a little bit there. but anyways yeah so uh, it's been quite a while I can't remember the number off the top of my head of how long it's been since I've installed the coilovers, but I love the car so far. It drives really smooth, much uh, much to my surprise. I thought that the ride would be a lot more stiff, but um, luckily I've had really smooth rides for as it's my daily driver, and gotta say, very glad with the installation, both aesthetically and functionally. But uh, kind of recently I was, um, and it was some friends and I noticed uh, along with them that my car was a little bit lopsided so it's uh, I'll get to more details of it a little bit later but the premise is basically the left side of the car is uh, kind of drooping a little bit lower than the right side so gonna go fix that today got the tools got some anti-seize just in case and yeah we're gonna head over to my buddy Ryan's house and we're gonna see if we can nip this thing in the bud so we made it here safe and sound uh, to kind of, before we lift up the car, just kind of give you a, an idea. So this is the front the driver's side. And you see, it's kind of a tight fit for two fingies. But if we go over here, on this side, it's a much more, I wouldn't say comfortable, but I can put two fingers in there without much effort. So yeah, gonna raise the, can try to level it out a bit and then hopefully at some point I'll get an alignment. But yeah, looking good so far. Get some actual measurements here because uh, I don't think fingy measurements are very accurate and me measures. Uh. What is it? <laughs> 42.4 millimeters on the passenger side. I think we're gonna raise it to the passenger side and then we'll see the other side. Oh, 36.9. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Got a lot of millimeters to move, but yeah. Gonna raise this side up and hopefully we can have a little bit more of an even ride height. Yeah, now that we got those numbers down, time to jack her up. She going up. Oh my goodness. get to the fun stuff. shoes on but yeah now we have access to the the good schmeedy stuff in the front and the rear and I almost tripped over something I almost died we're okay right now so I think the first thing we want to do is uh, we've written down uh, the numbers of where the wheels are sitting so I think now it's time to do time to figure out adjustments and then also do the anti-seize on the threads Come on. Precision mathematicians as well. 32 and a half. Oh. That's a precise mathematician. We found that the front right here is uh, about 72 and a half millimeters. And then the front, oh wow, I just completely messed up my directions. Front driver side, there we go. Driver side is 72 and a half. Passenger side is roughly around the same in uh, 
in uh, in length so kind of a little bit bamboozled by that considering the extraordinary height differences but uh, we might think it might be due to different corner weights of the car so I'm gonna look into that see what's up so uh, Ryan went to go finish some work but I decided to kind of get a jump start on and yeah, applying some anti seize before we kind of make our fine tune adjustments because uh, that's something I just want to do. Got some of the collars loose, which is good, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of confusing why uh, the why the heights of the wheels are the way they are. Maybe it's just how my Mustang came from factory and it's just kind of weird and wonky. I know the rear camber of the car is uh, a bit unusual, so yeah, but I'm gonna try my best to see if I can film. Uh, me applying anti seas at least the uh, driver's side. So, wish me luck. Took me a little bit longer to ex and than expected. Was a bit of a learning experience, and as you can see, I got some glittery hands. But for the most part, got the anti seize on. So next, after I guess we do the rest of the corners, is to refine the refine the height adjustments first, and then we should be good to go. <sighs> little glitter hands over here. <laughs> Did a quick measurement on this side, and I got it back to the right place. So. Really good on my part. Uh, now I gotta do the other side. I tried to wash my hands a little bit, but didn't really work that much. But I'm very excited that uh, I at least get to have this experience because I've never done this before and I'm taking you guys along with me on this journey. So let's uh, go over to the passenger side and let's get our hands a little bit sprinkly or glittery. right is done. I have a bunch of crap on my forehead. I got it wiped off and I don't even know if I got it fully off in the last clip but my hands are sparkly. But yeah, I think what's left now is to just tighten everything down. I kind of did that as I was doing the anti-seize but for the most part I just want to make sure it's all closed night tight fit because obviously it's my daily driver and I'm driving this like a bunch of miles a day but very happy with uh what I've learned today and all the progress I've made. But I think the next step now is to finally put back on the tires and then we call it a good day. All right, so we got the car on the ground. Uh, it took a lot longer than I expected because of other stuff that happened in the background. But for the most part, I think I'm getting, we got the fitment just right. So uh, we can fit two fingers kind of comfortably on the driver's side. And on the passenger side, we could also fit two fingers kind of comfortably, which is kind of nice. Uh, let me go back on the driver's side just so I can kind of show you that angle. Oh yeah, that looks good. But yeah, got to wait for it to settle a little bit. So what ended up happening was on this side we went, I think 70, I think we went 72.5 millimeters in uh, the collars. And on this side we ended up going 78 because there was kind of a big difference uh, when the wheels settled but got to kind of monitor it over the next few days and then see kind of where it settles and then after I'm comfortable with that we could probably go get an alignment which is going to be real fun and finally I could comfortably track it hopefully I think there's a track that I've been really meaning to go to and I'll take you guys of course with me whenever I go but uh, I'm not going to be able to do a drive through tonight but next video I probably should. My nose is dripping like crazy. Thanks allergies. And I probably look 
hella messy, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below what you'd like to see next, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to follow me on Instagram too. And thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I'll see you later. Peace.